Hey everyone, and welcome to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Today we're taking a look at a cool feature in Fairlight called External Audio Process. So although Fairlight has a lot of great tools, there might be times where another application is better suited for what you need to do. This feature allows Fairlight to send an audio file directly to a different application or script. Uh, you do your work in the other application, and the changes will update directly in Fairlight. All right, for this tutorial, I'll be sending a piece of audio from Fairlight to Isotope RX6 to do some work, but you can send it to any audio processor that you want. Okay, let's get started. First, I need to tell Resolve to connect to Isotope RX6. So I'll go to the Resolve Preferences, Audio Plugins Panel, and then External Audio Process List. Okay, then I'll double click the text in the name column and change that name to RX6. Then I'll click once in the path column and a window will pop up and I'll locate my application. So I'm going to look at where RX6 is in my applications folder and then add that. Once I'm done, I'll open the drop down menu in the type column and choose how I want the selected audio process to work. You've got three different types. You've got command line, clipboard, and reveal. Command line opens up the audio file in that application that you want to be using. Clipboard copies the audio clip file path to the clipboard so that you can paste it into the open command of an application or utility. And Reveal will just open up the application without doing anything else. So what we'll want to use is Command Line. And again, Command Line will open up that bounced audio file directly into that application. All right, so once we're done with that, we need to hit Save, and it'll prompt us to restart. Now that I've got my external process set up, I'm going to be able to access that when I uh, work in Fairlight. I'm going to do some work to this um, dialogue clip right here. So in this film, making a documentary about how the airplanes change. All right, so I'll right click this clip. And then now at the contextual menu, you can see external audio process. And then in that, you'll see RX6. Fairlight is bouncing a copy of my original dialogue and sending that bounce file into RX6. Now this isn't a tutorial on RX6, so I'm just gonna quickly go through some stuff here, do some random um, modifications to this, and I'll fast forward through whatever we did. All right, so before we save our work, I wanna jump back into Fairlight so that you can see what is going to happen. So in Fairlight, here is my track. Here's the original uh, file. In this film, making a document. All right, you can see that it is still the original file. And let me go back into RX6 and I'll save it. And once I do, and we switch back, you can see that it is now a bounced audio file. Now, what happened to the original file? All right, to see that, we're going to look at the audio track layers. So we'll go into view and we'll show the audio track layers. Now, audio track layers are great. It is a nice feature in Fairlight. Basically allows you to um, layer audio tracks in the same way that you could layer video tracks in the edit page. Now, what Fairlight has done is when you save in your external process, so when I saved out in RX6, it disabled my original shoot the real world audio file and placed the bounce file with the processed audio on top. And if I go into my media pool, I'll see that there is my bounced file and it has been so, processed. In a documentary about how the airplanes changed the world, is really important to go out and shoot. All right, that is the uh, process file. And let me bring the original file up and enable that and you can hear it. So in this film, making a document. All right, that's the original one. Let me disable and then bring 
bring up the other one, the process file again, and play it. In the documentary about how the airplanes changed okay. the world, it was really important to go out and shoot. This bounced file, this process audio file, is no different than any other clip. I can trim it and move it around like any other audio file in Fairlight. Okay, so one of the issues that I've found with this external audio process is that I can't go back and forth from Fairlight um, to my external application. So in this case, RX-6. It updates once and that's all that Fairlight will recognize. So I'll take another audio file and bring it into RX-6. And I'll do an obvious gain adjustment to that file. So I drop the gain all the way down and it's basically a silent file now. I'll save it and you'll see that it updates properly in Fairlight. But when I go back to RX-6 and do a modification to it and save it out, Fairlight does not recognize that adjustment. When I go into the media pool and uh, reveal it in the finder. That everything was real. Uh, if it was possible to shoot it, we wanted to go shoot it. If the actual file updates, but Fairlight does not recognize it. The weird thing is that the media pool will recognize the updated file, but for some reason it won't see it in my timeline in Fairlight. Now I've tried a number of different things to see if Resolve would recognize the changes, like switching to another page, deleting it from the timeline and um, importing it back into the timeline. But Resolve wouldn't recognize the updated file no matter what I did. The only way I could get Resolve to recognize the file, uh, the updated file, was to restart Resolve and the file in the timeline would update. So for example, I'll take this file. And if it was possible to shoot it. All right, you can hear the dialogue. Now let me go into RX-6 and gain it all the way down so it's basically silent. Save it, jump back into Fairlight. Uh, if it was possible to shoot it, we would. But it doesn't recognize the adjustment. So we can open up the file in Finder and we can see that, yes, it's silent. It saved what RX-6 did. Okay, so then I'll just restart Resolve and once we're back, the audio file updates and it's silent. So again, restarting Resolve is a workaround if you wanna modify that file after the first time you've saved it. Okay, and that is setting up an external audio process in Fairlight. Hope this tutorial has been helpful. Thank you for watching. And if you like these tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube page and uh, leave some comments below and let us know what you'd like to see. Thank you.